Codogno, Italy's northern cities brace for a week's long quarantine as nerves of tens of thousands of Italians began to fray among the locals faced with new lockdown measures. Two people have died from the virus since Friday and more than a hundred cases have now been reported in Italy, most of them centered around the small town of Codogno, about 70 kilometers southeast of Milan. Over 50,000 residents in 11 towns, 10 in Lombardy and one in the neighboring region of Veneto, now face what Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte said on Saturday could be weeks of lockdown. Locals wearing face masks were already lined up outside a supermarket in the town of Castelpastelengo, a 10-minute drive from Codogno, on Sunday morning. Shoppers were made to wait, then allowed to enter in groups of 40 inside the store to stock up on provisions. Although one woman in the crowd downplayed the virus, telling other shoppers it was not fatal if properly treated, others were less sanguine. It's inhuman, said one man who gave his name as Sante. Fighting over four sandwiches is just disgusting. Another woman, Emanuela, told AFP TV that residents including her were nervous. I'm really scared, we're going through a really tough situation, said the woman, a nurse who works in the area. Rising infections. Blockades were not yet erected, and cars could be seen driving in and around the area of Codogno and Castelpastelengo, although police cars patrolled the area. It was not clear how authorities would impose the travel restrictions and whether residents would still be allowed to travel from town to town within the affected zones, without surpassing an outer limit. We're preparing to set up the checkpoints for the containment zone, a policewoman told AFP, saying that initially the perimeter would be narrow but could widen over time. We're about 10 criminal police teams here, so nothing related to this kind of situation, but we've been called in from Bologna, Turin and Genoa to give a hand," she added. For now, the quarantine appears to be largely dependent on individuals to respect the system but the government said those found in violation could face fines and even three months in jail. The government has also said the army was prepared to step in if needed to enforce the perimeter. On Sunday, the head of the Civil Protection Department, Angelo Borelli, said during a press conference that thousands of beds were at the ready in military barracks or hotels to house quarantined or sick individuals, if needed. The number of those infected with the virus had now grown to 132, including the two people who died, Borelli said. Thanks for watching for more news subscribe like and share World News Channel.